Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Got something to show you real quick. In the man cave, if you've watched any of my videos, you know right where we're at. See that rectangular hole right there? That's made for a window unit and I opted for a uh, heat and cool because during the fall and winter if we do any deer hunting here it's pretty chilly in the mornings it's nice to have a warm place to get your hunting clothes on and all that and then during the summer I'm always out there doing something and man it, it's just too hot to be there so I've got the unit sitting right out here in the shop I'll show it to you real quick LG heat and cool 7500 BTU 320 square foot unit it's not real big but there's not a lot of room in my man cave and she shed combo anyway so I'm gonna get started get busy up with the unboxing when I get it all out set up on the workbench I'll show you what it looks like let's get this rolling mm. so right out of the gate I'm seeing good and bad the good is that when I first saw this box delivered, I was like, that's going to be way too big to fit in the hole I made. But actually, it's almost all styrofoam. This is the actual size of the unit, which is going to be close. But I think that I might have to end up doing a little bit of trimming because I it's made to go in a 14-inch hole. It says 13.9 on the description on Amazon. This says 14 inches on the box, so I can maybe get away with 13.9 inches. But if it's got to be 14, I might have to shave a little. That's what I have chisels for. Anyway, I'm going to get busy getting this all the way out and up on the workbench. Please excuse my mess. I'm in way outside of my comfort zone. I like my stuff to be high and tight, and this looks like a pigsty, and I apologize. I have had a lot going on. And for the record, it's not Bud Light, it's Nat Daddy. Bud Light and I parted ways for obvious reasons, never to return. Nat Daddy is good and it's 8%. That's why we drink beer, because when we have crappy days at work, we need a relaxer. Okay, so right out of the box, of course there's issues. If I measure this from the bottom of the housing, it's ex like exactly 14 inches and probably closer to 14 and 1 16th of an inch. So I'm probably going to end up having to do some shaving because I've got that thing boxed in with two befores already. Uh, I measured a unit that is almost identical to this in our upstairs and that's what I went by when I built the box for this to go in. So this unit for starters was well packaged. I can't say enough. It's amazing. No damage, a tiny bit of bowing right there, but not a scratch on it, which hey, hats off to UPS and LG for packaging this thing so nicely. Kudos. That being said, I've got to slide this through from the inside of the man cave that direction to the outside all the way up to here, I'm assuming. <clears throat> Width-wise, I've got ample room. Height-wise, not so much. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. But, I don't care. Now this unit, just so you know, in case you ever purchase one of these, and this is good, I'm assuming that I can take a couple of screws out and this whole unit slides out to where all you're dealing with it then is the empty housing, which makes it a whole lot easier to get it in there, get it set, leveled up and everything, and then you have to muscle the guts of this thing up into the box itself that could be a little tricky but that's the route I'm going because I'm a one-man band and you know I'm no Daisy you know I'm pretty strong but I, I, I'm not 
I don't want to damage these fan, the, the uh, aluminum cooling on the front of this. I'm going to have to be really careful. It's going to be really precarious. I know you don't care, but if you get if you purchase something like this, you're going to care. So I'm going to get started trying to slide this unit out of the housing, and we'll go from there. See what happens. But <clears throat> this is a normal chain of events for Oklahoma. It's never easy. It's always the hard way, and I'm used to that. And I accept the challenge. Okay, be right back with you. So what the heck? I'm I'm just gonna do this whole video like like you were somebody that had bought one of these. Okay. <laughs> there's a screw right here, and a screw on the other side, and there's two on the back. We're gonna take those four screws out, then this thing should slide out. I'll be right back with you. <clears throat> okay, I got the four screws out. Look at this. This literally will slide out of the housing basically using one hand. It's not a big deal. Isn't that cool? Slides out of there really nice. So this isn't going to be as big a pain. Now it reinserting is going to be a whole different beast. But there we are. We got the housing clear. I'll meet you inside in the man cave. I'm going to hold this up there. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's not going to slide right in, so it is what it is. Wow! As you can see, first things first, I got to move all these deer heads, get them out of the way, move my bow, one of my guitars, get me a clear workspace, just hang tight. So, as I suspected, close bet, no cigar. So, give me a little bit of time here. I'm going to do some shaving right there. I won't put you through the grueling process, but I will explain after the fact what I did to try to get this thing up. Here's what it is. Hey. It's going to cool this place down. It's worth the effort. So I'll be right back with you. Bye, y'all. Okay, I'm going to go into a little detail here. Just in case there's a noob that hasn't done this before. You see in all four corners, I drilled a hole. And I'll tell you why. I used... three-quarter paddle bit, drilled a hole in all four corners for the purpose of being able to start my sawzall, cut up, and I can cut this way, cut this way, cut this way, and get that back piece out. Then I'll worry about grinding this off or whatever I got to do to get it to the exact dimensions. I'm pretty close. So I don't think it'll take a lot, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you this in case there's somebody that's never done this before. It's not a big deal, but this is turning out to be a little more involved than I was hoping. Okay, guys, so here's where I'm at. This was a pain in the butt, but I've got it framed in. I had to literally take a hand grinder along right here on top and bottom and just grind away on my two before box that I had previously made. I was just like less than a quarter inch but a little bit more than an eighth inch off. Once I got it to where this box would fit, I lined up and centered it on both sides. Top and bottom fit, so I aligned the top first and then I pushed the bottom back until it was level. And what I mean by level, bear with me. I laid a level here inside the canister and made sure it was level. 
And then I put my screws in here, here, and here. So this thing's not going anywhere. It's very, very solid. Everything is square as much as I can make it. And now I'm getting ready to slide the guts into here. Then I'll probably, till tomorrow, I'll probably just stuff some insulation or something in both sides to keep any bugs out till tomorrow. Anyway, that's where we're at. It's going to work good, I think. And then I'll worry about framing it in real nice. Uh, and paint that white as well so it looks like it's boxed in the way it should be. But so far, I'm very happy. Anyway, I'll get back with you in a minute. Woo! Woo! This has been quite an evening, but look at that behind me. I'm going to zoom in here so I can keep from tripping over stuff. I got the gut slid in, which was a job in itself. That's the worst part of the whole project, sliding that up there by myself. It's in, it's set on 73 degrees, and it's bumping cold air, and I am a happy camper. For once, my man cave will be less than 100 degrees in here. I can prop the door open and cool mama's she shed on top of that, so she's happy too. Hey, all right, so here's the deal. The AC unit is in. It's been working magnificently. I have no complaints whatsoever. However, I got everything done. I've got this all cased in, caulked. Everything's as it should be, but I can't finish painting this. Till I go pick up a new brush, this is oil base white paint, which was all I had on hand at the time. And I freaking hate oil based paint anyway, but I wrapped my brush in a Ziploc bag thinking that it would stay moist until I could get to it. We had rain the last couple of days. And so uh, the brush hardened up on me. So I got home from work today with the full intent of painting the outside and that's not gonna happen. No big deal. I'm gonna take you inside real quick. I wanna go over a couple of things that I did wrong to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes and then I'll let you go. So here we are back in the man cave. And at the end of the day, this is what I was left with. I've got it all cased in and painted on the inside. It looks good, works good. There was a couple of things that I did wrong that I wanted to touch base with you on. You'll notice earlier in the video, I was stating that I put everything in there and got everything level. Well, guess what? If I'd have been smart enough to read the directions first <laughs> I'm a man we don't do that it's not supposed to be dead nut level I'm a high tight kind of guy so I had to end up pulling the guts back out of this after I already had it running and readjusting the unit to where the back end of it sits just about a quarter to a half inch low and then I put everything back together and cased it in. I used some old duck board that I had. You can pick that up at Lowe's. I cut it in three inch wide strips, 14 inches long, and just kept stacking them until I filled the hole on both sides with insulation. And then I was able to case it in and get everything done. Now for the casing, 
you know, lumber's still high right now. I had a bunch of fence pickets left over from my fence video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. And it's good lumber. It's three and a half inches wide by six foot long. And that's what I used to case this in. And believe it or not, it looks good. If you don't mind having a little bit of a rough surface or whatever and I don't because this is a man cave it's not a Victorian mansion so cased it in caulked everything up painted this white I'm gonna paint the outside white later just know that if you install a unit like this it's gonna have to be a little bit lower at the back than the front to allow the condensate to drip out properly probably would have still been fine if I'd have left it level but I'm OCD, so I wanted to make sure I had that correct. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Email me. Okladoma at Outlook.com. Other than that, this place is bumping now, baby. I got cold air. I'm able to sit out here, do my editing without any hassles, and smoke a cigar, do whatever. I'm able to cool Mama's she shed as well because her entrance door is a screen door. That's what she wanted. So I can leave that door propped open and let that blow. She's cool. I'm cool. It's all good. Anyway, I hope that I went over this in enough detail that if you decide to do something like this, if you're putting this in a house, it's a little different situation because usually you're putting it in a window and then closing the window down around it. This was a whole different deal because I boxed it in, but it works either way. Anyway, Shaw for Oklahoma, signing out.